Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, a little bit about myself, my name is Yvonne. I have been making my own do-it-yourself products for about almost a year now and I enjoy it. I, I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's really fun for me just because I get to actually know what type of ingredients go into what I'm making. So I now have gotten pretty, I think, pretty good at it to the point where I'm very excited and wanting to share with every single person out there. Um, I'm gonna put some chapstick on. Literally woke up with like some really, really chapped lips. So I love this chapstick. It's, it's Lavender by uh, Young Living and it works amazingly. Can you hear my children whining in the background? Yeah, they don't wanna nap. Yeah, for some reason they don't wanna nap. <laughs> like story of my life every day. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna today we're gonna learn how to make body scrubs, extra moisturizing body scrubs, which is my absolute favorite. I pretty much perfected it, and to the point to honestly, I never used to use body scrub until I ended up making this one uh, with the help of my mother-in-law, and now I literally every time I get out of the shower. I seriously don't have to put lotion on anymore because this body scrub moisturizes me enough to the point where I don't have to do that. So I'm super stoked and very excited to teach you guys how to make it. Thanks. Stay tuned. Hey everybody. So for the extra moisturizing body scrub, uh, the ingredients that we're going to need are mango butter, Four uh, BP, well, the material now is the four BPA plastic containers. Definitely BPA for sure. Dead sea salt, coconut oil, castor oil, vitamin E, B6, vegetable oil complex, and then we're going to have rosemary and lavender. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put below exactly how to get all these different items and then right now I'm actually diffusing clarity so I can concentrate on what I'm doing it smells really good and I absolutely love that sexy diffuser right there but yes these are the ingredients that we're gonna need to play with or use for our extra moisturizing amazing body scrub okay so now we're gonna add our mango butter and coconut oil into a measuring cup and then we're gonna weigh it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the scale and I'm gonna tear it. Well, I guess it already did it by itself. And then I'm gonna do, uh, it's a half a cup of each. So a half a cup would be four ounces of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and put four ounces of mango butter in here and then another four ounces of coconut oil in this bad boy. All right, here we go. We got mango butter and coconut oil in this measuring cup together. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna, see I had, I already had a, um, a pot boiling with water and then a temperature thingy majigger right here. So it's at, under, right at 75, so that's good. You don't wanna go over than that. Um, just so we don't kill our everything in our, our stuff right here. So mango butter melts pretty fast. So we'll just set that right in there. Never, ever, ever cook it just like without water, you know what I mean? Um, because then at that point, you're, you'll basically just be killing all the vitamins and minerals and that's like, you know, what's the point at that point? So we're gonna go ahead and let that melt together. It shouldn't take long, it should be pretty quick. Just a couple of minutes. As the coconut oil and mango butter is melting, um, I usually go ahead and clean my bowl. Just spray it a couple of times with my Thieves Cleaner. Um, just because I I honestly wanna just, I wanna use natural cleaner on what I'm gonna be mixing my products in um, to keep away from adding chemicals to it. So here I am mixing the mango butter and coconut oil together. Getting them all nice and melted. All right, so both mango butter and the coconut oil are both melted together. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna put it in the freezer and give it about 30 minutes. 
and then I'll come back. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. I just took the coconut oil and mango butter out of the freezer. I had it covered with a cloth and then I stuck it in there so nothing would get in. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of lavender and then a half a teaspoon of rosemary and a teaspoon of vitamin oil into this bad boy before I start hand mixing it. All right, now you wanna go ahead and hand blend your lavender, rosemary, vitamin E oil with the mango and coconut oil mixture until it thickens and kind of whips. Now that it's pretty much all whipped, see how it's all whipped? It's beautiful, it's like icy. Almost good enough to eat. This is really like, you can honestly just use this as your body butter lotion. So yeah, now that it's all whipped, uh, we'll go ahead and transport it into a bigger bowl to add the Epsom salt, the, or not the Epsom salt, sorry, the Dead Sea salt, the castor oil, and the B6 oil as well. Okay, so now that I have that in there, the last three ingredients we're gonna add are gonna be the castor oil, the V6 vegetable oil complex from Young Living, and then um, the Dead Sea salt, and then we're gonna add that in here. So we're gonna add three, or sorry, we're gonna add two cups of Dead Sea salt in there, three tablespoons of castor oil, and then three tablespoons of vegetable oil complex as well, V6, into that mixing ball right there. Mixing bowl, I cannot talk for the life of me. But yeah, into that mixing bowl, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it. So the greatest part about adding the rosemary and the castor oil and the vitamin E into the into this recipe is that all three of them act as a preservative, a natural preservative, which is, which is what you want in your body scrub since it's in the shower and water gets in there and that way it doesn't build any sort of bacteria. So there you have it. It's all mixed up. The body scrub is mis mixed up. Now I am going to go ahead and put them in the eight ounce containers. And there you have it, have it, have it, have it, four eight ounce containers, BPA containers filled of dead sea salt body scrub right there for you, for using, for moisturizing, for cleaning and cleansing the skin and the body. My ultimate favorite, favorite, favorite recipe. Thanks for watching, I hope you Use this recipe and have a good time using it and let me know how it goes. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.